Hi, I'm Anurag Tandon, Director of Product Management for End User Applications, including our graph visualization product called Neo4j Blue. So what we find is graphs are inherently very visual, right? Uh, so whenever somebody's expressing a problem as a graph, they just end up standing up, getting on a whiteboard, drawing up um, a graph. And, and then it's also very useful when you want to think about a problem. It's useful to have a conversation. Maybe I'm presenting uh, something to you uh, about the problem as a graph. Uh, it's useful to investigate, explore, get insights, uh, and then also to actually solve the problem. And so because it's all very, very visual, we felt that visualization is something that a practitioner um, of the graph database needs to have, not just as an afterthought, but from the very beginning. So I feel like flexibility is the is, is the thing that strikes me as, as most useful about graphs. Uh, like I'm, I'm constantly amazed at how many problems can be expressed as a graph, right? Uh, I've become a convert. I've, I've been more from, a, from the structural side of things where thinking tables and rows and columns, but I'm just amazed at, at how many things can be modeled as a graph. Uh, and then I guess the second part is businesses constantly are changing their model, their, how they look at data, how they look at uh, how, how they actually model it in their in their own environment, and graphs provide that flexibility, that resiliency, that they can change and adapt to those changing models. Um, so I'd say pretty much anybody who's interacting with the graph uh, can use Bloom. We have created it with the user in mind who wants to quickly get at the graph and not have to think about writing Cypher. Uh, so it could be people who are already knowledgeable about Cypher, but they don't want to constantly write it. Uh, it could be people who you know, see it as a hurdle to, to learn Cypher um, as a language. And, and so whether it's developers, data scientists, business users, end users, uh, really it's the, the idea is anybody who's interacting with the graph should be able to use it with just a point and click interface and not have to think about code, think about uh, query language, et cetera. I think the easiest way to get started is if you go to our website, there is a Bloom uh, web page and we have a Bloom sandbox uh, that's available with a pre-packaged data set that people can go and get started with. Uh, and if they want to try it with their own data, um, I recommend Neo4j Desktop as a tool that they can go download and then they can ask us for a Bloom trial. Uh, in terms of best practices, we have some documentation, we have some uh, a, a great video series that uh, you know they can watch to kind of just learn the basics of Bloom and get started. But otherwise, it's meant to be very intuitive and just easy to learn. Uh, and so I recommend people just get started. Um, there are many. So, um, I mean, all of the, or most of the new 4 j use cases whether that's in the area of uh, fraud detection, whether that's in the area of uh, you know, network topology uh, management, master data management, knowledge graphs, uh, are, you know, uh, are, are use cases that people use Bloom with. Uh, one of the ones that I've recently remembered from a, the Nodes Online conference we did was uh, a cancer research uh, use case where this individual got public data uh, based on clinical trials and enhanced it with other you know, uh, sources of information to create a graph of which companies are going after what um, you know, diseases and what uh, drugs are coming up in, in their research that are targeting certain molecules, therapeutic molecules with uh, a, a specific types of drugs and being able to research the graph of that particular disease or that company and what kind of drugs they have in the pipeline or you know what kind of molecules are, are, are being targeted by these drugs. So that I found to be very, very interesting use of Bloom. So with Bloom, uh, our idea is to showcase all of the graph goodness that Neo4j has to offer. Uh, and we really are looking to build a much, much more powerful graph visualization and exploration tool 
that is still very easy for users to get started with. Uh, and so we're going to continue to innovate in that particular area.